Welcome to Huawei Firewall Multimedia Configuration Course. In this course, we will learn how to upgrade the system. We introduce only how to upgrade a standalone system. Hot standby systems are upgraded respectively on each device. The operations are the same as those for upgrading the standalone system. For the first step, log in to Huawei Enterprise Service Support website. Click Downloads and find the software version that we need, according to the navigation. For example, we need to find the latest software version of the US G6300 V100R001. Please note that the software version whose name contains SPH is a hot patch, not the system software. The file name extension of system software is .bin. We can also download related documents, such as the upgrade guide and release notes, from the website for reference. After downloading the latest software version, choose System, System Upgrade, on the web UI, to start upgrading the system. But before the upgrade, we need to pay special attention to the following aspects. First, the upgrade requires device restart, and therefore interrupts services. We need to select an appropriate time for the upgrade, so that impact to services can be minimized. Second, the power supply cannot be cut during the upgrade. Therefore, we must ensure that stable power is supplied during the upgrade. Third, we need to record service running information, such as the routing tables, and system statistics, before the upgrade. For comparison after the upgrade so that we can know whether services run properly after the upgrade. Most importantly, remember to save and backup important data, such as the running software version for version rollback, in case of upgrade failure, configuration file, license file, patch file, diagnosis information file, signature database file, and related database files for user management. In normal cases, these data are not deleted after a successful upgrade, but we are strongly advised to do it just in case. OK, now we can see the running version and system software on the system upgrade page. Click select for system software upon next startup and then upload the latest software version that we have just downloaded. If the device does not have sufficient space, we need to delete unnecessary files first. After the software is uploaded, we can see that next to the software that we just uploaded, there is a gray bob icon. Click the icon to activate the latest software version. Then the device will use the latest software version in the next startup. If we do not want to use the running configuration during the next startup, then we also need to specify a new configuration file for the next startup. Choose System, Configuration File Management. Click Select for Configuration File upon Next Startup and upload a new configuration file. After the configuration file is uploaded, we can see that there is a gray bob icon next to the new configuration file. Click the icon to activate the configuration file. OK, now let's restart the system. Choose System, Setup, Restart and wait for a while. After the device is restarted, check the software version that is running now. If it is the latest version, the upgrade succeeds. OK, this is the end of the course. Thank you for staying with us. Looking forward to seeing you next time.